There was a time when we strongly disliked finding the fish on a lake feeding on Daphnia because we couldn't catch them. But it's been well recognised for a time there that orange is a particularly good colour when fish are feeding on Daphnia. And there are two flies that I fish in that circumstance that are highly effective. And one of them is possibly, even for this book, one of the simplest flies you'll ever see. It's an orange blob. And it goes against the grain a little bit because I don't like lure type patterns for the most part. But I suppose you could claim this isn't truly a lure. It does, however, have the ability to pull fish and it saved my bacon more than once. And it's a fly I rarely go on still waters without. So start with a size 10 or 12 nymph hook. I'm tying a short tail of orange marabou. And ideally you want marabou that's really fluffy. And in general, I prefer to use the fluorescent orange marabou like that. And you simply tie in at the bend of the hook a tuft, we're going to pinch it short later on, and trim away the excess. And then for the body, we're going to use orange crystal chenille and to get a neater finish we're going to just pull the fibers away from the center core like that and then tie in the core so you don't get such a bulky body to the fly take the thread up to the eye of the hook then we're going to wrap the chenille in touching turns try to stroke the chenille back the fibers back each time you go around you'll get a better finish if you do that this isn't the prettiest fly on the planet as I said it can be extremely effective and when you get to the eye of the hook just tie that shield off like that. trim the excess chenille up the eye a little bit and then either tie in another little short wing or just leave it as it is with this tough tail which is what I'm going to do on this pattern whip finish pinch the tail into a short tuft as I say it's not a particularly pretty fly but for some reason trout will respond to it and don't imagine that it only works on stocked rainbow trout because it doesn't. I've caught fish all over the world on this fly, including wild brownies. Sometimes I might consider it's a desperation fly, but it does work.